Hi everyone. Right, what I've done now is um, I've just stuck some corrugated card in in certain places where I want it to be. Um, I'm actually leaving some of that showing um, as... Well, I might do it. I don't know yet because I'm changing my mind as I go along, as I do. Um, so we'll see. And Chris, if you're watching this, I got my appointment for the doctors today. Um, I'm going back to the doctors because uh, the pain in my stomach is horrendous. Um, but I've got to keep busy to take my mind off it. Um, I'm not in school today, in work. Um, I've got a, I've got a swelling. Do you remember a couple of years ago I had the, um, oh God, oh, Get a gallstone. Sorry, a mild way. I had the gallstone removed uh, and the gallbladder. Um, and I was quite poorly. I'd been poorly for 18 months and they kept saying it was um, things like irritable bowel syndrome and things like that when in actual fact the gallstone they took out was so big it had attached itself and buried itself into one of the uh, muscles of my stomach um, which was causing a lot of the pain I was in. And... Um, in that particular area, again, I've got, I know I've not got no gallstone, or gallbladder, but I've, again, got that similar sort of pain. And I shouldn't have, but they did say, I mean, it is over two years ago, that it, things can flare up. So I'm just hoping that whatever it is, they can sort it out. Because my stomach has swollen badly um, on the left-hand side in that area where all that pain I had the year, a uh, couple of years ago. And it, oh. But um, I'm just trying to, you know, I don't, it, it, over the last seven days it's swollen up an, an awful lot. The pain's pretty bad. The painkillers don't do any good. Um, but I have to keep busy because I'll end up crying, the pain's so bad sometimes. I just hope they know what it is and, and deal with it. And yes, I feel like I'm in the wars. Yes, I feel like crying. Um, yes, I feel like crap. But, you know, I'm a trooper. So I'm just going to get on because I have to. And I'm just sat at the moment in a nice... I've got myself into a nice com uh, comfortable, you know, position and level for the table and that. Um, and I'll just have to while away doing this. If it gets unbearable, I will break off and come back later. But for now, it's I'm OK as I am. And hopefully I've got the appointments this afternoon. And um, we'll get it sorted. As soon as. Uh, basically what I've done this for it is just decoration. You know, I just like things different. Um, put my own little elements in of things. And really, when you're doing a project, it should be what you like, what you want. Unless you're doing it as a, you know, for somebody else who's requested something in particular. You should just put in what you want, how you want, when you want. Because there's no right and wrong way to craft. And anybody else who says differently, you're wrong. You know, the whole part of um, being creative is by experimenting. And doing what you want, what you like. And, you know, there's a misconception about crafting, really. You know, people say, sure, shouldn't do that, shouldn't do this. Why not? If it looks good, if it's right what you want, do it. Go for it. Don't worry about anybody else who comes on teaching, you know, and they call themselves professionals. Maybe if they branched out a little bit, their work would be even greater than what, you know, it is. If you understand what I mean. 
and some people don't. They stick to rules. They went to college, I went to university, I studied art. You can stand study art, doesn't mean I say um, you get it right or you can't improve by letting go. And I'm a great believer of that sort of thing. So, you know, nobody should be scared of trying anything. If it does, if you try something and it doesn't work, so go back and do it again. Go do something else with it. Change it. Right, this is a colour I'm using, and it's the um, Cayman Blue, and it's five one three Cayman Blue. Um, and I use this because it ends up looking like a um, kind of mintish, is it, if that's a word. Now, what I'm doing is this is the bottom section, this is the top. I think. No, nope, wrong way around. That's the top, that's the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drapes this over. Like that. Take a bit of white and just go back over that. I'm not fussing about it at all. Take a bit more white, get the blue. I don't want to do any more. I want it the darkest bit in that corner sort of thing. Yeah, that'll do fine. That's fine by me. I'm just going to pop that lid back on. Uh, and just dry that off, basically. <coughs> and this um, blooming cold's doing my head in. You just you get rid of one, you've got another one, and they say nothing's wrong. Now, what I've got, um, oh, what I had, there we are, I want, oh, bum, is, um, this Christmas snow blanket, and it, it's already got glitter in it, but what I'm going to do is, I just need, small amount um let's get rid of these um so i only need about oh i don't know maybe an inch wide um yeah i think i'll take it from that end So I'm doing about an inch and a half. This is going to have a, a board around as well, but for now, um, I just want to do this on the inside. And what I'm going to do is just... Just do like, in fact, hang on a minute, I'm going to fold it and do it, it'll be a lot easier. Just fold it several times, like that, I think. 
Yeah. Um. And then. This might work, on the other hand, it might not. I'm just cutting like a icicle from it. So before I cut that off, let me just see. No, that didn't work. <laughs> oh God, that was painful. No, I'm gonna use card. Cards a lot easier to use. I don't like that. Eh? I don't want it looking cheapy cheapy. Yeah, what did I do with the card in my bag? Yeah. So I've got some card. Oops, and then I lost my tree. <laughs> um so what I'm gonna do is just pencil this out really. Where's my pen? Trying to find something. Where's my pencil? I made me a little sleigh. I've got to put that together yet. I'll show you all the bits I've done so far. Uh, where's my pencil? Oh, come on. Oh, God, I'll sharpen this one then. Got a pencil with a little diamond on the top. Cute. I'll do. Sorry, I had to sharpen my pencil. Can't find my pencil sharpener. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is just See, like that. Do I want that? No, I can't be bothered. I'm oh, sorry. It's not attractive. It's not doing what I want to do. So never mind. We'll leave that idea for now. I might come back to it. Right, what I've done is this. Uh, there's the tree. Put the wings on. Um, I do like that, I think that's cute that. All I've got to do now is to finish off this bit um, and then I can glue that into my frame. So I'm just going to do that now. I'm just going to paint the, um, the whole base. I don't know to do it blue. Might just paint it blue actually. So, um, let me get my paintbrush. Yeah, I think I'll just paint that blue. I need to do the underneath as well. Right, 
Right, so it's just to paint that for what you can see. Don't really need to paint the back bit. Yep, yeah, that'll do that. Um, just going to wash that a minute and use a smaller one. So I want to touch up where I made a blue mark on the tree. So this is the Snowtex. That's it, that's all I need to do on that one. I'll just let that dry. I'm just going to pop that in the box to dry. Uh, and while I do that, what I'm going to do next is, I made this last night, which is the... I need to take that bell out, actually. That's the bell I want out. Save it. Uh, the sleigh. Um, I did order one, but it hasn't turned up, so... I'm assuming it's not coming. All I did, I just cut that shape out of the foam board, added the sleigh base on, and then made myself a little thing like that. So when it sits in the... Um, I'll show you what I mean. Not doing a good job this morning, am I? <laughs> it's going to sit in there like that. <coughs> If you can see that, with some presents in it. So right now, um, I'm just going to be doing. Um, uh, this, and I, I am going to be painting it. I, I'm trying to keep the colour scheme going. You see, um, I want the uh, blue and white. So first of all, I'm actually just going to paint the outside this blue colour. And I like, I love doing the marble effects. I really do. Or the wood effects. It's like a wood grain, basically. Oh. Just going to touch uncomfortable for me. See, and while that's wet, you do have to go in with the white. I'm just going to get a touch of white. And it gives you that ice colour. It's really nice. Quite a pretty colour actually. And I'm not fussed about it being perfect. You know, I, d I don't want that what I'm looking for. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. See, I want some of the darker blue showing. See, like that, and just blend that in. Like that. See that effect? I hope you can see that. And it, it's, a, it's just a technique my father taught me, you know. And it looks like an awful lot of work has gone into it, and it hasn't. So that's what I'm looking for. Like that. Just hold that like that. I'm not actually going to see much of this, so I'm not that fussed about it. He's going to have some presents in. 
just in case you can see a little bit of it. I'm just going to do it like that. And I'll touch up anything else that I need to touch up once it's in the box, I think. That's it. So I'm just going to quickly dry that a bit off. Now with foam board, you don't hold the glue gun on there too long because it'll peel off. The outer casing of the foam board peels away from the foam. So you do have to be careful and quick. That's just another tip. Okay, dokie, so that's done. Uh, and what we need to do now is attach these. So that tree is going to go there. Uh, and I'm going to have to fix that in. So basically all I'm going to do is to glue the base of the spool. Into the base of here. Now I do want it touching the edge. Like that. I put the light there, didn't I? I might change that and put the light at the top. Okay. So I know you can't see that much, but my desk is quite cluttered. Let me just see if I can move some about. So you can get to see a bit more. Um... I'm just going to glue the back of this sleigh. I'm just doing it along the edge like that. And then underneath. And I'm going to fix the sleigh just there. Like that. So you can see that. Um, I also did a frame, I did a couple of frames last night actually. Um, now, just let me see, I did a couple of frames, where's the other one? There. So, because I do want to put a, a, a picture in it, and I was thinking of doing the frame there, and I like that one I think better than the round one. Yeah, I do. Yeah. So I did both just in case, but I can repaint that one, Is that's nothing. Um, so I need to do a picture in that. I'm just going to put the lid on this. Um, and I'll be back with the next bit. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.